guys. I know it's been a long time since I posted anything on social media. I recorded a video and um, let me tell you guys why. But first, let's talk about the elephant in the room. My blue lips. I know. I know. I know you guys are probably looking at me the same way my husband looked at me when I walked out of the restroom. But I had been wanting to try a dark lipstick for a long time already and I thought, what the hey, this is the time. So I got this lipstick, which I actually I like. I don't know if I would be wearing it a lot or every day, but I will definitely wear it out someday. <laughs> Anyways, um, a lot has happened and not much has happened all at the same time, if that makes any sense. Um, I had to have a scope done at the beginning of January. Uh, I was having a lot of trouble eating, drinking, anything, whether it was water, my protein shake, my vitamins, any type of food, whatever stage I was at. So um, every time I would try to eat or drink anything at all, my stomach would start having like spasms non-stop. I started feeling extremely nauseous. Um, I started feeling really dizzy. I thought it was, you know, maybe I'm adjusting because I'm going from one phase to another with the foods. So I kind of left it like that for a few days, but I noticed that I started eating less and less and drinking less and less, and I started feeling worse. So, um, finally, you know, the doctor saw me and decided that he was going to do a scope. He was going to go back in to check because they did the swallow test and they saw that there was a possible um, obstruction. So, luckily, there was no obstruction, but that mass that he saw was actually a bacteria called H. pylori, which is a very bad bacteria that I do not wish on anyone because it has been kicking my butt. Um, pretty much, you know, he's trying to kill the bacteria with a very aggressive antibiotic treatment, which is, it is Pylera, sorry. You see these pills? I take this whole thing every day. I take three in the morning, three around noonish, in the afternoon, in the evening. So I'm taking 12 pills a day. It's a combination of different types of, I think it says here four different medications in each capsule. So it's attacking this bacteria very aggressively because it's a strong bacteria. Because of this much medication that I'm taking, um, I have a lot of side effects, which are extreme dizziness, um, diarrhea, uh, nausea, and those three are mainly what I've been experiencing for the past five, six days, but I mean non-stop. Like, I feel like the, like the room is spinning, um, at the same time that I feel like everything is spinning around me if I try I actually did fall I was gonna say I feel like I'm gonna fall I actually did fall um, that day when I fell I ended up in the hospital uh, I felt really dizzy and it's one of those times where you feel like did everything just move or was it just me and by the time I realized it I was on the floor uh, it was a very scary moment because at that time we still didn't know exactly um, a lot of details about the H. pylori bacteria. Um, we didn't know all the side effects that these pills had. So me and my husband didn't understand, you know, like why am I almost passing out? Why am I dizzy? Why do I have like diarrhea? And I mean, this is gonna be TMI, but you know, this is what my channel is. So I have to say everything as it happens. And I just felt like if I would have a small sip of water, I was going to the restroom like three times. So like I told the doctor, there's more coming out than it's coming in. And you know, is this normal? Is this maybe why I feel so weak and nauseous and dizzy and everything? Like I felt like I just could not get up at all. If I was trying to get up, 
I felt extremely weak. I feel like my body could not hold me up because I was so weak. They sent me back home, you know, bed rest, relax, take the medication, and just do what you can. So I was probably just drinking, like not even one, um, I don't have it here, a regular 16 ounce bottle of water, like not even one in a whole day, because as soon as I would take a small sip, I had to go to the restroom. Um, I would feel nause um, I would feel nauseous the water wouldn't even like finish going down my throat when I felt it was gonna come up again it was just really really bad I could not eat anything um, my m solid meal for the day was two egg whites and I couldn't even finish like not even half of it so not even half of one egg white I would finish and um, I was pretty much just surviving off of the protein shakes and while still taking all my vitamins all my 12 pills, which as it is, it was already hard to drink water. Now imagine taking all these pills plus the vitamins. It was just extreme, extreme, extreme hell for me. Uh, so I went to the doctor yesterday so they can, I guess, follow up, you know, how I'm feeling and what's going on. Now I only have three, well, two, two days left of these. Like today, not counting today, I have two more days left of this. And the doctor wanted to change it because of all the side effects I was having, but I was like, I'm almost done with this treatment. I might as well just finish it. So I didn't want to start all over with the new treatment and I didn't know what the side effects were gonna be for those. So pretty much what he said is that he was going to start treating me symptomatically, meaning if I feel nauseous, he was gonna prescribe something for the nausea. If I had diarrhea, he was gonna give me something for the diarrhea and like that depending on each symptom he was gonna try to do something separate so it was just overwhelming to me because it was more medication i felt like i was just not gonna get any better um then they also suggested that i take uh, probiotics any probiotics but they gave me this as a sample and uh, i took it yesterday was my first one I kid you not, probably not even 30 minutes after taking just one of these, like my stomach started feeling so much better. Um, it had been like thundering in there like for the past seven days. Um, it was just like when you, you know the sound that boiling water makes? That's the sound that my stomach had nonstop. And when I took this probiotic, I guess when it went into my system, I don't know, whatever, um, that sensation went away. And then little by little, I started feeling like I didn't feel nauseous anymore. So I was like, what? I couldn't believe that just with one, you know, probiotic, I was gonna be feeling better. But I was like, I'm, I'm gonna take it, you know, even if I start feeling sick again in a few hours, um, I'm just gonna take it. So then, um, I also told my husband that I felt it was really difficult for me to eat eggs or when I tried to eat ground chicken. Uh, so I started just eating vegetable soup and uh, what else did I eat? What else did I eat, Lou? Oh, I ate uh, those gardening. Let me show you. Uh, we bought these. And I was so scared. I thought I wasn't gonna be able to eat not even like one little nugget because I'm like, I haven't been able to eat. I was able to eat. I ate four, I think, of these. A little bit of brown rice and I even ate a veggie spring roll. And I was like, oh my God. I felt like I ate at a buffet because that's the most I had eaten like in weeks. I don't know, I don't remember how long. So then um, I told my husband it's crazy because I'm noticing that as I'm eating vegan food or, you know, that I'm not eating animal products, my stomach doesn't hurt. Then coincidentally, a friend of mine texted me. She said, hey, you know, how are you doing? And I started telling her that I was feeling sick and that I had this bacteria called H. pylori. So as soon as I texted her that, she told me, I know exactly what you're going through. I had that a few years back and um, I, actually struggled with it for a few years. I was like, oh my God. I felt like my world just shattered when she said years, because the doctor told me that this medication treatment was for 10 days. So in my head, even though I'm feeling like crap, 
that's what's kind of motivating me to get through all of it because I'm like, as long as I get through these 10 days, I'm gonna kill this bacteria and I'm gonna be able to continue on my journey. And when she told me that she's been struggling for a few, that she struggled with it for years, it just, oh, it just made me feel so sad because I'm like, you know, is this gonna be my life? At some point, I wanted to blame this on my weight loss surgery, but I mean, it's really not that it's not the surgery it's not caused by the surgery or anything that you know the doctors might have done wrong or anything like that it's just um, a bacteria that unfortunately uh, became activated in my body because a lot of people have this bacteria it's just not active well with me <laughs> it got active and um, she also said that she was taking medication that made her feel the exact same way without me telling her everything that I was going through, she was telling me everything that she went through, which it was like she was describing me. And she said that ever since she went vegan, like everything went away. She never had any problems with this bacteria again. So I was like, oh my God, you know, I, there's logic between what I was uh, thinking and, and how I was feeling. So today, you know, I took this uh, probiotic again and I'm still taking all of my medication the antibiotics everything but um, I'm not trying to eat egg anymore or the chicken uh, for breakfast I had the protein shake for lunch I had a vegan sandwich and I mean you would think me being maybe like what is it a month and a half out of surgery that it's gonna be a little bit hard for me to eat whole wheat bread I was able to eat it fine um, my stomach didn't hurt um, I mean, obviously I didn't finish the sandwich. I had it for lunch and I had it for dinner. And I mean, I still have part of my dinner here because um, I mean, I ate it in small portions. But my point is that I was able to eat. I wasn't in pain. Um, I don't feel that nauseous anymore. The dizziness is still there, but like minimal. So with that being said, <laughs> I've decided to, you know, just stay away from all animal products I had before the surgery I had already started adapting a lot of the whole food the plant-based whole food meals um, but it was hard for me to give up eggs because I absolutely love eggs um, chicken this brand if you guys you know want an alternative to chicken I really recommend this it's so good I've tasted so many different things from this brand and it's absolutely delicious but always check with your doctor look at your look at the um, nutrition facts and see if it's something that works for you and um for me these just these two days i feel better than i have felt since i started taking this pylora antibiotic so yeah that's pretty much a recap of what's been happening in the last couple of weeks um, I don't want to go on and on and on because I don't want this video to be really long but I did want to get here just for another camera and let you guys know real quick what's going on because I have amazing 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 Instagram friends and snapchat friends just um, social media friends and family that um, will notice my absence and you know they started checking up on me and I, I appreciate it my twin um, Jess, thank you so much. You made my day today. You made me get all teary-eyed. I was trying not to crack because I didn't want to ruin my makeup. <laughs> but um, thank you, everyone that cares and you know that texts me, send me messages. Um, I'm getting there. I'm not gonna say I'm fine because I'm not. I don't want to lie. But um, I just didn't have any energy at all whatsoever. Like I lived in my PJs for the past week. <laughs> Um, finally today I was feeling better you know I decided to do my makeup I decided to listen to some music just anything you know to send me good vibes and um, whatever it is it's working whether it's the medicine whether it's my mindset whether it was me getting ready I don't know whatever it was but a little bit of everything my husband was off today so I always tell him he's my best medication and um, so yeah I feel like I'm, I'm getting better, I'm getting up there again. And just as soon as I'm cleared from all of this, I'm gonna continue uh, with my weight loss. I've lost a total of, I think, 41 pounds since surgery. Uh, I know it could be a little bit more, 
but I mean for the past two weeks I've just literally been bedridden I haven't done anything the only time I get up is to go to the restroom or to get water or anything even that like I have my water bottles my vitamins everything next to me so I mean my activity has been none and even like that I've been losing you know one and a half pounds to a week this past week I weigh myself every Tuesday this Tuesday that I weighed myself I stayed exactly the same so this is the first week that I hit a stall but I don't see it as a stall because like I said I'm not doing anything I'm hardly eating so I'm not really worried about the scale right now or my weight I'm just trying to get rid of this bacteria so that I can feel well so that I can continue with my weight loss surgery <laughs> but um, yeah that's it so I'm gonna continue doing this. I'm gonna be a little bit more active, even if it's just, you know, posting pictures or commenting, just something so that I can have a little bit of life again. <laughs> but um, again, thank you everyone. Everyone that checked on me, everyone that follows me, everyone that's watching this, thank you. Thank you for supporting me. And well, thank you to my husband because he's so patient with me. Um, I know that I scare him so much. Poor dude, but it'll be worth it. <laughs> but um, I don't know. I'm just going on and on again. Thank you guys for watching. Bye. Bye.